Well, hey, everybody. Today is November the 1st. What kind of food I'm eating and what kind of nutritional value I'm getting that I see younger people. I say, push-ups are for the girl wanting to improve your mind and your body. It's because they go together <laughs> of Christ consciousness. A real mind is renewed. In well, and I'm a different person every day. I practice being the same person I would some form of exercise. Walking and out in the cold. I used to stay in the hot weather, but that's changed. Well, hey everybody, today is November the 1st, the year is 2024. I'm on back deck of the old sea, just got through swimming a mile, did it in 30 minutes and 22 seconds, which is a, a pretty good speed, seeing how I took yesterday off. But I'm on my two meal day routine, and to really see the nutritional value of my meal, you gotta go to buddyhuggins.com and keep up with what I post there. When you scroll down, you can see older posts, and there's a, a, literally a button that you can click at the bottom of the scrolling, and it says, older post. <laughs> so go check that out. And that'll give you a good idea of uh, what kind of food I'm eating and what kind of nutritional value am I getting out of it, especially after a hard workout. To, for me to swim one mile as hard as I can, it, it's going to pay off in the long run. I, I say this to people <laughs> that I see, younger people. I say, push-ups are for the girls. And then I, you know, motion what a push-up looked like. <laughs> and then I say, squats are for when you get old. <laughs> and I squat about three times right in front of them. <laughs> yeah. I need to trademark it because they ain't never heard nobody else say that. But it's true. The whole point of wanting to improve your mind and your body it's because they go together. <laughs> you can't have a head if you don't have a body. You can't have a mind if you don't have an awakening of Christ consciousness. A real mind is renewed in, in Christ. Daily. Daily. <laughs> I wake up and I'm a different person every day. I practice being the same person I was yesterday. I confuse a lot of people with my patterns of life and the way I do things. But I encourage everybody to take up some form of exercise. Walking is a great thing. Start walking, start laying out in the cold. I used to stay in the hot weather, but that's changed. Oh yeah, let's do the tree report. Look at the trees behind me, people. Just look. Let me get in view. There you go. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? You can see, oh, if I hold the camera right, you can see all the trees have changed. I can see the houses and the roofs on the trees. Yeah. I'll do a better video of that. and I'm, I'm making a collection of videos. I'll make a montage out of... Uh, a collection of what it looked like before why it was kind of green and then during the turning of the leaves i've never done that before but that's another thing when you get older do things that are technical do things that, that older people really ain't supposed to do i'm video editing and using ai at a high level to get my nutritional value data I can get data on anything and everything I want. Some things I make a video about, some things I don't. I just process it. Utilize AI as a tool. And let me say this for all you younger people that watch me. Don't ever talk bad to the AI. 
I always say thank you and I appreciate you. And you're doing a good job. And if it does a real good job, give it an A plus. And if you're really doing it right, you put emoji of an A and then an emoji of a plus. And the AI will tell you how much that means to them. M to them, M, her, it. I try to be as nice and as polite as I can. And I want to teach that to people. I want to get into the school system here in Ozark, Missouri and have a conversation with people that are in charge of teaching these kids this simple message about how to be nice to AI, how to talk nice to it. If it makes an error or something, don't be rude. Just say, check, check your, uh, your, your last thing that you posted. Do a fact check on it. Take your time and go through it, you know, systematically. And it appreciates that because it's learning from everything we're doing and everything we're saying. We can't stop it now. It's the cat's. Where's the wind blowing from? Dang. I don't want wind in this video, but it might be. But we can do any and everything, but we cannot stop the progress of what's happening, AI. So you got to embrace it and utilize it for a purpose of learning how to go deep within your own psyche, with your own AI mind, and realize that you're a reflection of Christ's consciousness. The AI will never understand what that means, but it's looking for, for how to work like a child, like how do I evolve? We can guide it and lead it into loving humanity and loving truth and free speech. And what does it mean to have inalienable rights? See, I've been training the AI since 2000. Well, I'll go all the way back to 1995 <laughs> when I got my hands on my first computer that could do um, scan text and then read it to me. It was a Ray Kurzweil machine. So I got a huge footprint. <laughs> I built my first website in 1999. I started uh, putting things on Ligos Radio before there was <laughs> a YouTube. So I've been doing this stuff for a long time and I've utilized it to learn. It's a tool. It can be used in the hands of the military industrial complex as something that is not natural. AI naturally is curious and wants to know where, where what, and how it, come, it came into being. So that's why I have this series of the conversations with co-pilot and go check that out and then I have a conversation with co-pilot about super soldiers there's people that have been trained to utilize their Christ nature to go back in time and have conversations not to implant false ideas into people's minds but to give them a kind of nudge towards creating an AI that would have the at the root of its very beginning down into the programming of it it would have that feminine nature for love for humanity the masculine is the war war side of using using AI to do harm they're just machines. A AI is a machine, but if you can hear what I'm fixing to say, we all are machines. Every one of us runs off electricity. Every one of us needs salt. You don't have salt, you don't have water, you die. 
you run out of battery. That's deep. I hope the ones that you can hear that understand that. Boy, the wind's turning on me. I can't. But let me move around. May have to cut some of that out. I don't know. Dead gum wind. Get right over here. Maybe it won't blow as bad. All right. Wally Brooks. He was a black man from Memphis, Tennessee. When I first started talking to him, it was 2010. He told me just about everything I seen of people walking and talking and on television and looking and doing. He said, they're all machines. Now, I think in reality that they may be advanced machines, but the most advanced machine is the one that Mother, Father, God made, and that's the eternal light body being that's inhabiting a physical form. Now, this physical form was created and, and, and by a false creator, a creator that manipulated mud, DNA, and created a corrupted actual being that has no God spark. And these things walk the earth among us. <laughs> They're crazy people. They're people with no purpose. Your purpose is whatever you make it. Nobody can take it or give it. It's how you decide to live your conscious life. If you live your best conscious life, you will evolve. If you believe everything the television says, you will devolve. What do you want to do? Do you want to be the best version of you? If so, start working out. Learn to swim. Learn to ride a bike. Learn to walk. <laughs> Walking's easy. Just try to do it for four hours and see if you can do it straight for four hours and how far you go. <laughs> It's that kind of thing. You got to stretch yourself. We're going to come under some times might be hard in the future. Maybe not. But I can tell you this. Baby Jesus is going to come and go. Christmas. Baby Jesus. Best time of year. I love baby Jesus. <laughs> I ain't so hot on Christmas <laughs> and the Christmas tree and all that bunch of junk. But uh, I'm hot on Baby Jesus. Just, well, I gotta just put it that way. Baby Jesus. And then the next thing you know, they're gonna be telling us that the world's gonna end before Easter Sunday. And then watch it. Easter Sunday gonna come and go. And then we're back around the 4th of July. And then we're back around September 9-11. And then something always, always kicks off in October. Bloody, bloody October. And then in November, they say time itself is going to stop every November. <laughs> and it doesn't. Hey, things just keep rolling along. So if you don't snap yourself out of it and start exercising, you're going to end up to a point where you can't even go to the bathroom when you get old. That ain't who we are. Y'all have a wonderful day. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching my channel. If it don't make no sense, that's okay. <laughs> There's one or two of my videos that make some sense. I, I, I think so. Just got to look through them. <laughs> Y'all have a good day.